it's a Manchu. Welcome back to Peril on Gorgon. So I made it through Human Inquiry and Auditing, HIA, found some gruesome things there, and it's still not clear to me what Spacer's Choice real objective was. Maybe they didn't even know, maybe it was conflicting, I don't know. But in any case, now I we need to get time. into the chem lab and unlock the other part of the lockdown so that I can get to where that journal is and maybe find the final answers. Hopefully in the chem lab I won't find anything quite as gruesome as in HIA, but you never know what we'll discover. Uh, you notice that I have different companions with me. I went back to the Unreliable and brought back out with me Ellie and Felix for this part of the journey. So let's see if I can find my way there. And maybe on the way, take a little bit of a detour to something else. Let's see which way was it. It's this way, I think. Hmm. Look at that. Could that be it? Could that be a rock shaped like a llama? Or is it merely an alpaca? Let's take a look up here. Is that guy sleeping or he dead? Well, what is up here? Package for Captain Babbage. To Captain B. Babbage and crew from a friend, handle with care. I think that's the thing I was looking for. Some kind of weird shrine here for this package. It's bizarre. That must be the rock. Well, now that I got this package, I can take it back to the captain and his crew. I can remember where the hell they are. Looks like they're still here. Trying to figure out why that structure there isn't what they were looking for. Any luck tracking down that llama? Technically, it's the package I'm after, but you get what I mean. How did you get entangled in this llama business? I don't even know anymore. We spend so long arguing about what is or isn't a llama that it's all a blur. Captain Babbage has a lot of strange contacts in the parcel delivery business. One of them must have a thing for llamas. All right, well, anyway, I have this. That's it. Oh, I can't wait to rub this in my dumb captain's face. This should be entertaining. See here now? What's all this talk about? We got the package. And guess what? It was where I said it would be. And this fossil? It's not a llama. Not a llama at all. I... I believe I owe you an apology, first mate. What? It's true. I wouldn't know an alpaca from a raptodon, and as a captain, that's a mark against my good name. Can you ever forgive me? Llama. I don't know what to say. I'll start. Thank you, stranger. A good captain knows when to admit they're wrong. Well done. I suppose he's right. Maybe I was too quick to dismiss your leadership, sir. First mate, what say we put this awful business behind us with a round at the Sprat Shack? First one's on me. Llama. Here's my cut. I'd say you've earned it. And here's a little something extra for your time. Pleasure was mine, first mate. Be seeing you, and thanks again. Llama! <laughs> what is it with a second mate? It's like all he says is, Llama. <laughs> He's got some kind of weird llama fetish obsession. Anyway, that was a little bit of a sidetrack. Let's get back on toward our destination. It looks like I just head straight ahead and it should be on the left. And the quest marker will point me the way. And there are raiders here. Great. Marauders. I mean. Raiders, marauders, bandits. 
Every freaking action adventure RPG has to end some variation on these guys. Tougher than I thought. Come here, guy. Come here. Oh, I wasn't working on him. Is there a robot next to me? Shoot. This isn't working. Ow, something exploded right next to me. straight ahead. Oh dear. Last time I ran into a crew like this, they kicked the snot out of me. how I fare this time. It's a big one. It's not alone. I feel like the primal contagions are dangerous and I should deal with them first if I can. Painful, but I made it through this time. The Blight and Contagion guys look smaller, but they were actually more of a problem, I think. See what we 
can find in the chem labs. This facility is currently experiencing a heightened security event. Accessing this facility requires voice modulated passphrase. Please speak the passphrase. Uh, the passphrase. Error. Passphrase not recognized. Please speak the passphrase. Hmm, I was sure that would work. We attest to the zest with our hand on our chest. Be impressed as our guest by what we finessed. You are blessed to ingest what we thoroughly test. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Passphrase accepted. Access granted. Welcome, Dr. Jasper Lowe. Alright, we're in. Doc Lowe used to run this place. Made the drug that turned decent folk into marauders. I can't imagine living with that kind of guilt. Well, nowadays he's high most of the time. I don't know what he was like before. Lots of bodies to loot here, so there are marauders in here. Compound Harvesting, Enrichment, and Molecularization Laboratory. That's what CHEM stands for. This urgent notification brought to you by the Spacer's Choice Automated Subversive Behavior Notification System. Please be informed that one or more of the following high-priority conditions are likely to be active in your office or workplace. Escape Primal's unlawful discussion of subversive cultural material. Extended and authorized breaks. Please notify your supervisor immediately if you are a designated supervisor of this workplace. This message constitutes your official notification. This is an automated response. Please do not respond directly to this message. So, Primal's got loose, sounds like. Corrective measures. Jasper, I've been taking your messages at my terminal like you asked. This one's from management, though. Please take a look at this. I could get in trouble for deleting it. Jasper, I know you told me not to bother you when you're working, but I'm running out of options. I understand you're busy, so I've boiled down my list of concerns into simple yes-no questions. Just respond with a Y or N. Did you read Goodfellow's letter? Am I on the chopping block? Has security talked to you about the, some type of corporate spy in our ranks? Is there a spy? Did you know Padilla's heart gave out after a 72-hour shift? Are you tending the wake? I've got staff coming to the receptionist's desk looking for answers. What am I supposed to tell them? It's not the best choice. It's the only choice we've got. Are you going to respond? Sounds like uh, Dr. Lowe was already getting high and shirking his duties. Huh. His response was N, respectfully Jasper Law. Chief, I found a key in a locker by the lavatories. The key belongs to Dr. Lowe. Please retrieve the key and return it to him. I do it myself, but Dr. Lowe can be pretty paranoid. If I show up at his door with a key in hand, he'll assume I stole it in order to fabricate a reason to check up on him. Huh. The locker by the lavatories, huh? I can find that. Shh. I'm feeling like sneaking now.
I got the strangest notion that was sarcasm. About wishing us good luck, I mean. I'm pretty sure the threat was real. That's gotta be our pal from the OCI, right? I'm starting to wonder what they're hiding. It's weird how their voice have faded away into nothing and I can only read the, the uh, subtitles to see what they were saying. Lots of dead marauders out here. There's something hostile down there. Sounds like an auto-mechanical. Oh, and some big ones. Last time I ran into those, they kicked my butt. It's back this way. Main lab. That was a tough auto mechanical. Beginning security patrol. Let's take a look inside. Security protocols. I think my friends may just got spotted. Best there ever was. Okay, that's dead. To Low J, subject, can we please? Dr. Low, I think I speak for all my colleagues in the laboratory when I say I'm worried about the OCI's treatment of our facilities. I can understand dismissing 10% of our staff as a punitive measure. I can understand cutting our deadlines in half in order to motivate us. But, and forgive me, Dr. Lowe, but I can't understand demanding that we send human inquiry our untested compounds. Many of these compounds aren't tested because we know they're failures. Increasing production means proportionally decreasing quality of enrichment, which means lower compatibility with human metabolism, which means higher rate and intensity of dangerous and potentially lethal side effects. Dr. Pallavi, the OCI are comprised by a gaggle of carrots in your diagrams and they'll chew the flesh off your bones and then charge me for the meal. It's absolutely critical that I finish my research in peace and as soon as possible without interference from the OCI. So in answer to your question, no we fucking can't. Meadows. Today we received our update timetable for management, courtesy of Mr. Goodfellow. Six-week deadlines are now three-week deadlines. Some of my colleagues have been sacrificing sleep in order to meet these deadlines. Others have been medicating themselves with very small doses of enriched compound X in order to combat the fatigue. Work fortifies the spirit, so we will carry on. I count myself fortunate to have been spared in the decimation. My former colleagues have nowhere to go. Their departure corresponded with a few critical doses of enriched compound X disappearing from our storage. Correlation does not imply causation, so I will not imply theft. Subject unplanned sabotage event. From B. Gother. Amona silenced my recent batch of enriched compound X. The elegant complexity of your molecular structure manifests in the hallucination of my oven sleep deprived mind. 30% lower rate of addiction, 75% compatible with human metabolism, and with a side effect coefficient of just 0.65. You were our most promising compound yet. Human inquiry would have been delighted to pour you into a syringe and stick you inside a test subject. You were destroyed in an unplanned sabotage event, which is to say that Mr. Mosley's fancy tables couldn't predict this would happen. You were almost perfect. Our lab will never see the likes of you again. Huh. So we destroyed their samples, huh? It's 
to go back to sneaking. Ugh. Damage to data storage detected. Memory malfunction detected. Unable to retrieve data. Irreversible damage to processing unit. Irreversible damage to memory retrieval. Formula samples not found. Formula refinements not found. Side effects analysis not found. All oh, this is the stuff. Their um, their quarterly reports were destroyed too. Somebody went in and destroyed all the records, right? To whom it may concern, this morning I and my colleagues gathered in a reception hall. Every tenth staff member at this laboratory was released from service. I am one of them. My indenturement contract is Spacer's Choice, which stipulates a lifetime of productive service as a researcher in the field of organic chemistry, has been terminated. I have served Spacer Choice most of my life. Working at the Gorgon facility is the highlight of my career. If I leave Gorgon, I will have nowhere else to go. Because my contract guaranteed my work for the duration of my life, to end that contract is tantamount to ending my life. If you have the power to reconsider your decision, I ask you to kindly reconsider. I'm, I'm willing to work without pay if necessary. This job is all I have. Please allow me to fortify my spirit by continuing to work. Wow, that's rough. Dr. Lowe, I'm afraid I don't know where your research notes are. I searched materials processing and discreetly asked the receptionist, but nothing turned up. If I had to guess, you left them in the basement laboratory. I'd venture down there myself, but you know how I feel about primals. I apologize for the weakness of my constitution. Sir, if your research notes do turn up in the basement, may I ask you to think favorably on me when OCI asks you for a budget review? Word around the lab is that Goodfellow and the other leaders at the OCI want to make some deep cuts in our staff. If there's any truth to this rumor, I hope you'll remember that I've always supported your desire to find a better, safer version of AT. Respectfully, G. Zhang. Hmm. At first, I thought that the sabotage was probably caused by somebody trying to cover something up. Maybe it was simply one of the workers that got canned. Nothing back here but loot. Oh, that reminds me. There's supposed to be some hidden recordings here. Maybe just one, I don't remember. Roscoe, it's Georgie. If you're hearing this, you must still be holed up at the Sprat Shack. And you're not going to like this one bit. I was trying to steal our recordings when things went crazy. I know, I know. Like I said, sorry. And I'm going to be in a heap of trouble if I don't get them, so if you want to save my bacon, you need to do it for me. I need the three interviews we did with Ambrose, this one here, plus another recording of my own. I left that last one with a guy who owed me a favor at the garbage processing office in the chemical waste ravine. I'll leave an automech near Stellar Freighting. It'll want all five recordings, plus a passphrase. Glacial Age. Oh, and don't listen to my log, all right? Just, just stay safe and keep your head down. Well, that's odd. I thought she got off the planet. I was pretty sure she did. She left this recording behind as well as some other ones to find. Now, did I find that one by garbage disposal? So now I have a choice. I could return the phonographs to Roscoe or deliver them to Georgie's auto mech. Huh. Boy, I have to think about that one. I really don't know. I really don't know. All right, hushing up. 
I don't know if I trust Georgie or not. I think she was actually a corporate spy, but is that a good thing or a bad thing? Should I give the recordings to Roscoe? I, what could it hurt, right? Except for the fact that it seemed like in that last recording I saw, Roscoe was not interested in learning dangerous truths about the research. Like he was trying to cover stuff up. Maybe I'd rather the truth got out. Maybe my chances of the truth getting out are better if I deliver it to Georgie's mech. Quickly, quickly. I'm searching for an author of performing an error. There was just no avoiding it. I think I was hitting Ellie by mistake. And that's bad. Looks like I drew this one over to me. Stay down. Is there another one out there? Yeah, it's outside. Rough. Ooh, what you find? Stuff. It was stuff. There's a terminal over here. Critical update. Dear Sir and or Madam, this is not a message triggered by the Spacer's Choice Contingency Management Program. Please do not respond to this message. Congratulations, Contingency 77-1, Abundance of Raw Material, is now in effect. Due to a higher than projected volume of compound X harvested from this laboratory, your production quotas have been raised by 200%. Please bear in mind that bi-weekly quota reviews are automatically generated and forwarded to Project Gorgon Administration and the Office of Creative Incubation. Any dereliction in production will be reflected in review. That's nice. It's a lot of different testing they were doing and then researchers addendum. Unplanned sabotage event destroyed any relevant research notes, forced to rely on outdated notes. Expected time loss 6 to 16 months. Attempt to replicate research unsuccessful. We'll try again after resting eyes for a minute. just don't have enough information yet. I don't know who caused the sabotage and why. I don't know who that mysterious voice is. Why they're trying to dissuade me from investigating further. That is very well locked. Chem lab security pass. So let's see if I can find that. Hmm. 
No. No. What is the thing I need to trip to turn that off? Or can I turn that off? That seems dangerous. I don't know if I can crawl under that or not. Aha! There it is. Switch back to this one. Dr. Lowe and his people didn't just work here. They lived here. This lab must have been their whole life. Clearly. Show your boss that you are prime because you take a dream at a time. There was some kind of note about a password that was left behind in a laboratory, if I could find that. A pass key from Lowe himself. That should get me to that locked room. Nice going. Where exactly is that lavatory? Jasper storage key. Is that the one I'm looking for? I think maybe. Yeah, I guess this is laboratory. Okay. Have to figure out how to get back to there. that that locked door I can't remember is it back this way yeah 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 this was it I think I think this was it no chemo security pass is not the same one shoot what did I just find 
Jasper's storage key. Open storage closet in Dr. Law's office. Oh, never mind. That's not what I need to get in here. This is security. Maybe if I could get in there, I could disable the robots. I don't know. In any case, I can't. So I'm going to have to find another way around. And that robot looks tough. Maybe not as tough as I thought. It's got good armor, though. I wonder if I could take it on. The last time I encountered these, it wasn't these things that was the real problem. It was those freaking turrets I couldn't hit. But there's other robots around, so maybe I should be more careful. Getting a little turned around. I'm not sure if I'd been in this area or not. I totally was just here. Shoot. Have I been up here? Probably. Yeah, yeah, okay, this is where I came in. Right, well, let's head down to the ground level, I guess. to go how to get where I need to go nothing useful over there in here too. Shoot, I'm going in circles. I can't get in there. Well, there's one other direction I haven't checked yet. This. The effects of Compound X are inescapable. The uh, refined excrement of the Xenocyte life form. It's a fine powder, very fine. It finds its way into absolutely everything, even in the water now and the air. It settles like a veil over all of Gorgon. The laboratory techs get the worst of it. We all appreciated the boost to mood and productivity at first, but we're at each other's throats in an instant now. I've had to break up two fistfights this week alone. This aggression must be inherent to the formula, to Compound X. How do I stop it? Hmm. Hmm. 
So that stuff was infecting everybody that was around, everybody on planet. Okay, this will be fun. Here they come! Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh. Thanks, guys. Ow, oh, I'm taking damage. Ow, ow, ow. Quit it. Ow, stop. Stop the pain. Is this the way to go? You know, when we walked into the lab, I thought, what's the worst thing we could run into? And of course, the answer had to be primals. Yeah, this is pretty bad. Primal blight, primal contagion. Contagion. Yeah, okay, that's fun. Oh, there's a lot of them here. That's a problem for me. That is a problem. That's a big one, he's sleeping. Shoot. Fair mistake. Away. Help me. You're going down. How about that? Well, that kind of stuck. I got spotted, and then it was trouble because there were just too freaking many of them. There are too freaking many of them. I want to try and sneak past them without having to fight them all. I think it's possible to do that. Not gonna move. Oh, there he goes. I think there's another one around the corner. I gotta get seen. I gotta get seen. Gotta move. That one's dead. Oh, I think I made it. I don't want to speak too soon, but I think we made it. There's more out here. There's something out here. Robots. Robots are less of a concern. As long as a fight with them doesn't alert more primals. Hey, it looks like a back way into security. sure what I can do in security once I get there. Well, I could do some inventory maintenance anyway.
How'd you do that so fast? my gear is properly repaired. Okay. Check out that terminal. Security office status. Lift access restriction. Administrators notice operating a security terminal is a privilege. Restricted to space of choice. Uh, yeah, yeah. Security office status access granted. Okay. Electromechanical hostility protocol active. The way I can turn them off. Subject, please explain. Dr. Law, I'm going to have to take the researcher's side on this one. Your absence during the emergency is conspicuous. I don't want to report you because I don't want corporate auditors scheduling interviews with the entire staff while they're trying to meet deadline. The unplanned sabotage event already halted experimentation and development. We're trying to get our operations running again, and we could use all the help we can get. I'm already down one staff member. St. Germain's gone. You know why. You owe this team an explanation to any number of grievances. Your absence is the most urgent one, but I'll take an exception as to why there are primals being held in the caverns near our waste disposal site. They're your primals, aren't they? From low. Mr. Tanaka, no, I can't explain the primals. Primals defy explanation. They are a miracle of evolutionary adaptation and a treasure trove of interesting genetic material. I'm not going to explain my alleged absence either. This is because I'm not absent at all. My presence is implicit in the work of my researchers. The researchers still employed in this department are skilled and more than capable of repairing any damage done by the alleged saboteur. Please don't bother me again with trivial problems. You are the security chief. Stick to securing things, including but not limited to the safety of the lab and my privacy. Warm regards and pleasant felicitations, Dr. Jasper Lowe. Subject resignation. Dr. Lowe, I've just finished filing my official report on the unplanned sabotage event. Unfortunately, filing a report on a sabotage event requires me to also include a list of captured, apprehended, and neutralized saboteurs, company policy. No list means I'm getting arrested for dereliction of duty and you're getting penalized for hiring me. Saboteurs is plural. I can't include Mr. St. Germain's name and be done with it. As a last resort, I have been forced to include the names of all former employees whose contracts were recently terminated in the decimation. These researchers are no longer part of Project Gorgon and will likely not survive without a job, so I may as well use their names to save our jobs. I filed my report last night and haven't been able to sleep since. This is to let you know that I will be filing for transfer at the end of the next cycle. So they blame the sabotage on St. Germain and the other people that got fired. Is that true? Hard to say. Operate authorization is down that way. I see a hole in the floor here. Did I miss anything back here? And that's that doorway that I couldn't get through before. Thank <laughs> you. 
Looks like where I need to go is right there. Mechanicals all over the place. Yeah, these are big auto mechanicals. I don't know if I want to mess with them. If I can evade them. Must be Doc Lowe's old office. Okay. Which is where the security override should be located, right? I believe I found a pass key to some kind of storage area. going on? Because I don't mind having secret admirers and all, but this is getting a little creepy. Well, I'm glad. I've been looking forward to punching the sprat fuck in the throat. Well, I wish if they figured out what I'm after, they would tell me what I'm after. Messages. Incoming. From Ambrose O. Pursuant to last week's incident, new security practices are now in effect. All lab personnel must tidy their workstations at the end of their shift, close and lock all drawers, safes, closets, vents, and lab doors before leaving for the day. All visitors must be accompanied. Furthermore, any laboratory tech accompanying a guest who has not received certification in either self-defense or hand-to-hand -hand combat must also be accompanied by a member of the security team. All confidential information must remain as such. Do not discuss the nature of your work outside or inside the lab, except to warn peers of imminent danger, such as fire, chemical spill, or suspected corporate espionage. All laboratory techs are to isolate themselves until further notice. Any laboratory tech found fraternizing in groups of two or more, or found speaking with the same person more than once, will be remanded to Spacer's Choice Human Resources Reeducation and Reallocation Department. Finally, unless you are actually physically sitting in an interview session pre-approved by me, do not speak to the fucking journalists! Dr. Olivia Ambrose. Jasper, I dug into the volunteer data Marion sent over. You are right, the current formulation is resulting in alarming outcomes, even by SC standards. Priyantha and I performed a handful of autopsies on this week's deceased and made a few notable observations. In one case, that of a young man in his early 20s, we noticed a degree of gray matter loss one would expect to see in a man of 70. His brain had also atrophied to a shocking extent, again as one may expect in a much older man. In another case, that of a woman of middle age, the subject was no longer able to achieve natural sleep. After 11 consecutive days of wakefulness, she no longer able to distinguish her violent hallucinations from reality. Yet even as she spiraled, she demanded additional injections. I was sure our last tweak would reduce the incidence of violence among the volunteer population. We might attempt to further refine the compound through partitioning, though I'm doubtful that will be efficacious. Violence aside, I'm growing increasingly concerned by the habit-forming nature of the compound. What do you think? Monthly physicals, high priority. The materials we work with are dangerous and will result in permanent injury, disfigurement, or madness when handled for extended periods. Therefore, our laboratory personnel will now report to the project physician, Dr. Pyrantha LeBlanc, 
for monthly physicals and psychiatric evaluations. I do this out of an abundance of caution. Schedule first appointment immediately and notify me when you do. I have access to your medical records, so I will know when you shirk. Do not make me drag you into his office myself. There. Override success. Executive lockdown over it. Halcyon's got no shortage of creepy science labs, boss. But this place? There's something real twisted about this place. I've seen some reckless operations, but here? It's like they were trying to get people killed. You remember the guy that was running it, right? Low? You mean the idiot who got his new team pink slipped? Fair point. Still, Spacer's Choice spent a fortune on this place filled it with the best and brightest lab coats they could find, and this is what they came up with? I don't know if it's as simple as this, but they were definitely pushed to do the impossible by people who weren't accountable. That's true. That's the whole point of bureaucracy, isn't it? Knowing how Byzantines treat failure like it's catching? I can see why Minnie'd want to clear the family name. Let's see what else this investigation digs up. Get into the storage area too. That's awfully helpful. I can the take heck a was hint. He storing back here. Primals. What is it with mad scientists and secret labs? Well, that's just great. Just two of them? I could probably deal with just two of them. Unless I miscounted. And they're dead, just like that. I don't think I hear any more. Sounds like an auto mechanical back here. Shoot, am I still wearing my lock picking gear? Yeah, I totally am. Better armor would be better. Anything else of use back here? It looks like the primals broke out of those cages. And that does not look like a back way out. Huh. Also, research into primal neurochemistry has proven fruitful. I've discovered a cardiac cell receptor for adrenaline, analogous to human cell receptors in function, if not in physiology. It should be possible to develop a pharmaceutical drug that blocks the effect of the adrenal hormone in primals, thus curtailing their paranoia, agitation, and volatile irritability. Correction, it is possible, but unlikely, given the way OCI has me under thumbscrews. Adrenatime is a dangerous drug. The danger can be mitigated by developing an adrenaline inhibitor. Take Adrenatime, then take this theoretical drug to minimize its side effects. I barely have time, energy, or resources to develop a half-passable Adrenatime, so this idea must remain a dream. Nonetheless, my notes follow. Hope springs eternal.
they could have developed that, it could have made Adrena Time a safe to use. If only. What's that weapon I found? Aquagia, huh? Eh. It's okay. I'll stick to this uh, PET that I got. Do I have to go back the way I came to get out of here? That would be uh, very disappointing. Kind of looks that way. Bummer. Looks like there might be a shortcut out of here around to the right. a lot of mechanicals around here. That helped. Shoot, 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 shoot. Don't be seen, don't be seen. I think I got spotted. Maybe not. Let's get out of here. It's a big sign that I says exit. Primal guts all over my ass kicking boots. That's what they're for, right? Where have I found myself here? Sounds like there's a lot of primals around. Okay. I think maybe that elevator will get me back out of here. And I think I'm gonna have to be done for today. Oh my god! 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 They were not. They were not dead. They were awake. They were awake. Oh crap! Oh crap! I did not realize they were alive. And now this is happening. I'm going to try to find my way out of here without any more altercations. Maybe head back to the ship and uh, do a little bit of uh, assessment of my inventory. And then we'll head on to... We'll head on to the SMC. The lockdown should be lifted. And should be able to get there. And maybe we'll finally run into this mysterious figure and finally get some complete answers about what's going on. Next time on Amon Chooses Peril on Gorgon.